Hey, Sneaky Links back today. Today we've got the new version of Partage Magic. A live CD, rescue CD, come bits and bobs CD with lots of apps on it for you to do, so to say. But if you're a bit of a pickle and you've buggered your hard drive, this could be the baby to get you out of trouble. Now it comes with conky on the side here, as you can see, CPU usage, RAM usage. You get a bit further and it tells you what programs are running. Which is all rather spiffing, intriguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, you can go on the internet with it, because sometimes you'll need to. You might want to upload the files that you found to a site offline, etc, etc. Like pictures and stuff like that. So we're going to start the network. And I've got a wired network connection here. So I'll just click on continue. <coughs> Excuse my cough. And it works. And hey, diddly do. We're connected to the net. Now when you do this, all of a sudden, you'll find that your web browser will come up. And it's uh, Chromium on this baby. It's quite small, I suppose. I'm still not too sure of Chromium personally, but hey, it works. Now, this, I'm just doing this for a little bit of a test to see. Does it come with Flash straight away? Not that you'd actually need Flash on this sort of system, but I thought I'd have a look in it anyway, you know, just to find out. So, over to the Bibica, I've gone, and I'm going to go straight to their iPlayer, Flash Intensive, as you all know. I'll click on it once. I yeah, will think about it. Sorry about my net, by the way, again. And no, Flash Player is not installed. But I just wanted to see if it was. That was just me. Okay. Anyway, as I said earlier, what you really want to use this for is like repartitioning your hard drive, or getting stuff off a really bad hard drive, or stuff testing the system and stuff like that. So I'm going to open up hardware information. Many of you may have seen this in different distros. But I'm just going to open it up anyway. So operating system. Yes, we're all there. It's Linux and it's part of Magic. And the home directory is root. As it runs Openbox. I'll go down to my processor. Yes, it's a Pentium Dual E2180, old boy, old fashioned one, you know what I'm saying. It's got benchmarks here, so we're just going to do a, a blowfish one, <coughs> excuse me again. And it takes its time, and it takes its time, and Conky's just gone next, it's probably 100% in the CPU, as it should do. Conky's come back, it's still doing it, it's still doing. Oh, almost there, I think. Yes, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no, it's not finished yet. Yes, it has. As you can see, it ain't done too bad, really, considering I'm recording at the same time. So, hey, it's pretty cool, isn't it? The lower, the better for Blowfish, by the way, just in case you didn't know. So that's that bit out of the way. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <coughs> so, got your monitor settings, mount devices, your partition editor down there, as you can see, smart control and network start, as we've seen. If I click on help with information, it takes you to here. So let's have a look. Yeah, look. Test disk documentation. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? He opens up to the web and basically goes to a wiki site. Now here it will tell you lots and lots and lots of information of how to recover your information from bad hard disks, bad installs or whatever. Because on that hard disk you might have music, you might have lots of pictures, you might have lots of documents that you may need, don't you think? I mean sometimes we don't back up do we some people, like myself sometimes, and then all of a sudden hard drive goes, ouch, see you later. And you've got to do this sort of thing to get all your information off, unless you've backed it up to a, a cloud site somewhere. So that's not part of the information. You can do a through install if you wanted to. Not that you really want to, would you really? But hey, you can do it. And you can do a, C, a, a live CD, or USB, should I say, which may be better for some people. But as you know, some machines will not boot off a USB. Here's some videos that are third party. One of them's mine, I think. Oh yeah, there it is. That's mine's mine. And lots of them for useful information that you might want to look at. So, anyway, that's enough of that bit. Let's go and have another look around in the menu. So, in accessories, you've got loads of stuff here. Archive manager, Conky's there, you just seen on the side. A picture viewer, a calculator. Lots and lots of stuff. L external leaf pads there. Another thing there, like monitor settings, etc, etc. Simple burn, I'll come back to that in a bit. Screenshots, you may need to take a screenshot if you're configuring stuff for people on the net and they want to have a look at the system, etc. Configure XOR, got a good VESA, that's pretty good. Internet, as I said before, Chrome Image Web Browser, oh yes, it's a download there for the Flash Player if you really wanted it. I suppose if you've got a live CD, uh, sorry, a live USB, you've installed it onto a USB stick, you could put Flash on there, it'd be alright, I suppose, wouldn't it? If you really wanted to. So anyway, system tools, Clonezilla. Erase this G parted ghost for Linux. I'll have to do a video on it. ISO Master, very good. PC Man File Manager, remember it's open box. Partition image. Photo Rec, 
Oh yes, that means photo recovery. This is command line based or text based. And basically all it will do is search your hard drive for pictures, basically. And do it all for you and back them up to wherever you want to. You can go back and use another program either to upload them to the net or burn them to a CD or put them in onto a USB sticky thingy, magic thing. So yeah, that's all pretty hunky dory. True Crips there as well, lovely. And Booten, that's good, that's there too. So there's lots lots of stuff on this disk. It's only just over 100 meg. So it's a pretty small download. <coughs> what you get, and it loads completely into RAM. So as soon as it's loaded into your RAM, it pops out a disk and off you go. So you've still got that drive to use if you want to use it as a CD burner. Now as you can see, what I've done here, I've booted into Gparted, or Gnome Partition Manager, and I'm going to just resize that partition, just in case you've never done it before. And I'll show you how to do it, basically. So what I've done, I've halved that section now, and it's going to go through the system now. And you go, ream, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, and you just wait for it to do it. And it's done it. So you just click on Close. It will recheck it for you, just to make sure all's gone hunky-dory. And there you go. I've got an allocated section of 1.72 gig there. So we're going to format that again, I think, and create a file system. Now, what should I make it? <coughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you what, for a change, we'll make it FAT32, just for a laugh. Click Add and Apply. It says, do you want to do it? Well, of course we do. But I'm just showing you how to do it. Really good, really easy, simple, skimple, as they say. You just wait for it to run for it. It doesn't take too long. There you go. And it's all done. You have now got another partition on there, which I think, if I remember rightly, would be SDA7. I think we'll just wait for it to come up. Wait a while, it's checking and checking and checking. Oh, yeah, there we are. Fat food to SDA7. Now, wasn't that nice and simple and easy to do? So, yeah, lovely. All on the disk, it's all in RAM. Lovely, even better. So, anyway, there's a few more things I want to show you before we go. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh, bad cough, bad cough. Simple Burn. Now, I haven't seen Simple Burn for a long while on a, on a distro, but it's not ideal for this sort of thing because it's just really basic and simple. Just put your files in the box and burn. So, say you've got oh, say a, a gigabyte of, of pictures and stuff and documents, just burn them straight to disk. Because it's all in RAM, it's not a problem. So, that's easy, isn't it, really? Easy. Take a screenshot. I've shown you this on some parts before, but I'll show you on here. It's really easy. It saves to root. You click OK and bish bosh. Five four three one, and that's your picture. And you can choose to save or cancel. So that's really really easy. You might we might want to use that to just upload the picture to somebody and say, look, this is the problem I'm having. What do you think? You know, bit of a conflab with somebody. Easy 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 easy. But yeah, right click. This is what you get. And then on the whole, Pirate Magic is a really little good disc to have in your box. Really really good. I'll show you this one before I go. Smart control. It actually tests your hard drive for bad sectors, etc, etc, motors going up the wall, you know, you know the score. I'm not going to do it here, because we're in VBox, of course, because I wouldn't be able to copy it otherwise, would I want to make a video for you. But yeah, it's all here, there's plenty, plenty on this disc for you to play with. And you ain't going to harm your system just by putting it as a live CD, are you? So that's really easy. Now on the whole, Pied Magic got better and better, abracadabra. Sneaky Linux is going to go out and have something to drink. I'll see you later. Bye, 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 bye.